In this episode we are going to learn how to create a scrolling star field scene using the shape element lists. So at the end what we are going to create is this scene. So we will have two layers, two shape element lists, the foreground layer and the background layer. And as you can see the foreground moves a little bit faster and the background moves a little bit slower so these white stars and this gives us a parallax scrolling effect. Okay, I have already created a basic RK template and this contains the two main methods, the on draw and this will draw the stars and the on update and this will just indefinitely move the stars. So scroll them. To actually create the stars, I'm just going to create a separate function for that, but before this I'm just going to define two variables. So this will be the background star color and this will be 255, 255, 255, so white, but the transparency will be set to 95. So the background stars will be a little bit less visible. Okay, now let's define the foreground colors. And the foreground colors will be just a Python list, so FG star colors. And this list will contain some predefined colors from Arcade. So color white, baby blue, aqua, color buff, and this alizarin crimson color, so five colors. And actually this will be used to randomly pick colors for the foreground stars. Okay, now let's create the function which will create the stars. I'm just going to add the comment here. So this function creates the stars and adds them to the shape element lists or list or a batch. Okay, so this function will be the create star field function. And as its first parameter, it will be a batch, which will be a arcade.shape list dot shape element list. The next parameter will be a color and by default it will be set to background color. So this white and I'm also setting this random color to false. Okay, and now what we are going to do is create 200 stars, also for the foreground and also for the background. So for i in range 200, and here I'm just going to create an x and y, and the x will be equal to random.randind between 0 and 1280, so this is the window's width, and the y will be equal to random.randind and between 0 and 720. So this will just pick random values between 0 and 1280 and 0 and 720. And we should also import the random module. So import random. The next thing will be the width and the height of the individual stars. So w equals random at round int 1 and 3 and also the height will be random that round int 1 and 3. So you, if you want to change the size of the stars, you should change it here. So let's say 1 and 5 or 1 and 10 and so on. And here I'm also going to add one if condition. So if the random color is set to true, as you can see, it is by default set to false. But if this is set to true, we are just going to set the color to random the choice so this will randomly choose a value from this list so from the foreground star colors and then we are going to create a star star equals arcade that shape list that create a rectangle field and at the xy position with the width and height and the color and lastly we are just going to append the star to the batch Okay, now let's use this create star field function to create the foreground stars. For this, we are going to the game view class, and here we are going to create the first foreground layer. So self dot foreground stars one equals arcade dot shape list dot shape element list, and here we are going to use the our function we created. So create star field, giving it the cell dot foreground stars. So as you can see, create star field as its first parameter is the shape element list. So here we are creating a shape element list and 
just passing this as a first argument to the create star field. And the random co color will be set to true. And if this argument is set to true, this if condition will be also true. So it will randomly pick a color from these FG star colors. Okay, so this is the first. Let's let me draw it. So here in the on draw, we're just going to call the cell dot FG star swan the draw, and let me run it. Okay, now as you can see, we have the foreground stars, and their position is randomized between the window's width and also between the window's height, and also they have these random colors. And now let's scroll this star field. For the scrolling, I'm just going to create two properties. And one will be the foreground star speed, which will be set to 100, and the background star speed, which will be set to 600 or, or 60. And of course, this is set to 60 because the background will scroll a little bit slower. So this will give us that uh, parallax scrolling effect. And now let's go to the on update and just set the foreground star 1, that center y, minus equals foreground star speed times the delta time. And let me run it. And now as you can see, it slowly scrolls down, but it ends here. So we should also add one more foreground star field. So this will be the second foreground stars, and it will be called fg underscore star stars 2, also creating an arcade shape element list and also call the create star field now passing it the foreground stars too and also random color to true but uh, before we continue we should also set its initial position try to imagine that that this is a layer this shape element list so cell that foreground stars too that center y equals 720 which is the windows height and now we should also move this down here in the on update. So FG star stars two that center y minus equals FG star speed times the delta time. And let me see it. But before we run it, uh, don't forget to actually draw those. Draw this second layer. So. FG stars to the draw. Now let me see it. Okay, now we have two layers on top of each other, so it will scroll, but of course now we are on the top of the second layer. So we should move the first layer on top of the window and start, start the scrolling over and over. And the idea is, I'm just going to show you something in Inkscape. So here are the two foreground layers and this is the window. So we are drawing the first foreground layer in the window and we are drawing the second foreground layer on top of the first one. And they are both scrolling down slowly like this. And when the first foreground layer, so this one, is on the bottom of the window we're just going to set its position to top again so and it will start over again so this is the idea okay so let's do this what i just showed you in inkscape so we are going to check here with an if condition in the update method the following if cell that foreground stars one at center y is less than minus 720 it means that the first foreground layer is outside of the window in this case we are just going to set its position to 720 so cell dot foreground stars one center y equals 720 and now let's do this also for the foreground layer two so if cell dot foreground stars to the center y is less than negative 720 then set its position back to 720 and this will move the whole layer or the shape element list on top of the window so now if i run it it should scroll continuously so indefinitely
Okay, so now let's do also the background layers. So here in the init method, I'm just going to add the first background stars. This will be the BG stars one, also on our shape element list, and also using our function create star field. In this case, we are just going to pass the BG stars one. So the random color in this case will be false. This means if this random color is false, the color will be set to this BG star color, which is this color. So white with a transparency of 95. So this is the first background stars. Now let's create also the second background stars, which will be the same as we created on the foreground. So BG stars 2, arcade the shape element list and let's set the, its initial position to 720 so it, it will be initially at the top of the window and also use our function and give it as a as a first argument the bg stars too and now let's draw both of these shape element lists so here in the on draw method we are going to draw the bg stars 1 and also the bg stars 2 and for now they are not scrolling yet they are just staying in the position in the same position and as you can see they are a little bit dimmer because their transparency is set to 95 okay now let's move also the background layer to give it a parallax scrolling effect for this we can also just use the same functionality here so bg stars 1 center y minus equals the bg star speed which is set to 60 so it will scroll a little bit slower and also times the delta speed and uh, let me run it so as you can see now it scrolls a little bit slower and this gives this nice parallax scrolling effect of course we should also reset the position of the bg stars or the background stars because here it ends so if it goes below the screen, it should be moved on top of the window. So let's do this. And we are just going to add two more if conditions. So if the self the BG stars one, the center Y is less than 700, negative 720, we are going to set its position to 720. And if BG stars two, that center Y is less than negative 720, we are going to set its position to 720 and now the also the background stars will scroll infinitely and just for fun let's also draw a spaceship which will be a triangle so here i'm just going to paste this one so arcade the draw triangle field and these are the vertices so the x y y1 and the x2 y2 x3 y3 and its color will be arcade that color baby blue and now let's run it and now we have also this triangle which acts as a spaceship and probably in a later video i'm just also going to move this left and right 